fans have been starving for new Eminem. And we made it through 2023 without an album. But I'm a big proponent of taking your time. Hasn't the man been showing up for us almost 30 years? And I've been listening to his music for almost 24. So I can't really react to his older stuff because I know it all. I could still see myself riding my bike as a 12-year-old kid with my disc man, if you know what that is, plugged in Marshall Matters LP on repeat. So I'm happy I get something new to react to. And it's crazy, guys. I'm in Belgium. It's 5.45 in the morning. But I'm a new channel, so I have to do something to grow it. <laughs> but let's check it out. I'm sorry for the long intro. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. A little under the weather. What, is he sick? That means this song is going to be sick. Yeah. All right. Here we go. First, I'm a shredder. Mm. Okay, sorry. The beat flip on this role model sample. I wasn't ready. Yo, M has been there with his music for me when I was going through my own struggles with addiction. So I can relate to a lot of his music. And I know a lot of haters can't. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to get into it now. First, I'm a shredder. What? Verse like I had a personal vendetta. Yeah. Words come together like birds of a feather. What? So I need a... I'm a shredder. He is a shredder, but he will shred a verse. This song is only one minute and fifty seconds. Yeah. Words come together like birds of a feather, so I need a walker like Herschel. I'm better than all of you. Fuck. Oh, I'm Belgium, but I know Herschel Walker is a football player. But Herschel was also a character on The Walking Dead, right? And I know he references the song, or the show rather, in other song so herschel and a walker walking dead or is that a reach a little twist put together but i'm not trying to be controversial i'd rather yeah. talk about shit with the purpose that matters like, like who had the second best verse on forever damn. Oh. damn yeah sorry if i took forever we all know we all know so who had the second best who had the second best that's the only argument there is no discussion <laughs> in his view who had the best verse. So let's talk about the stuff that really, really matters. Who had the second best verse? <laughs> that is hilarious. Shit with the purpose that matters. Like, like who had the second best verse on forever? Damn. Now I got a riddle. What? One condition, oh. you mustn't laugh. Okay. What is the opposite of Benzino? Uh, what? A giraffe. Uh, Go with his neck. How the fuck is that? Oh no. Benzino is getting it. I did not expect it. You know, a lot of people have been complaining M with the fast flow and, you know, he's been slowing it down in his latest, you know, features. And, I, I, and I'm here for it, you know. He could do whatever he wants for me, so, you know. It's not always perfect. I'm not going to say he's always perfect. It's always great. But a lot of times it is. But okay, okay. Racking up, uh, you know. And uh, going at Benzino, Wow. Okay, you know, M, they're, they're always going to say M is bringing up old beef. But okay, you know, Benzino start to talk shit about him, you know, rec not recently, like 20 years. But nobody really pays attention to him. Then M brings it up because he's seen it. And then suddenly he started to beef again. Because he's just bigger and, and a lot of more people see it. And then suddenly it's... Oh, you know, M started it. No, no, guys, go back, do your research. Opposite of Benzino. Uh, what? A giraffe. Uh, go with giraffe. his neck, how the fuck is that? Yeah. How can I go with something he doesn't have? Uh, Arms so <laughs> How can I go with something he doesn't have? Oh, yeah, the opposite of a giraffe. Yeah, I couldn't laugh. This is the try not to laugh challenge. I failed. Uh, what? A giraffe. Uh, Go with his neck, how the fuck is that? Yeah. How can I go with something he doesn't have? Hey, but the cadence, come on. How he's, how he's, he's riding the beat. He's riding the beat. And he's like, he can be vicious and menacing and building like a, you know, when he does a diss song, you know, he's, he's menacing, he builds it up. 
That is Calm, so short he can't even touch his hands when they're up above his head doing jumping jacks. Wow. Sorry, I don't mean what? to upset you, Ben. Yeah. When I talk about what? all the debt you win, I hear that oh. you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels yeah. that they catch you in. What? Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't Benzino like in debt for like five million dollars or taxes or something. And he was caught in a hotel, right? Let's see where this is going. When I talk about what? all the debt you win, I hear that you've been creeping on the low when them cheap hotels yeah. that they catch you in. What? Jesus Christ, dog, Damn. when you said you ten, what? never guess you meant at the Red Wolf in a room with one single bed to men. What? Shady man, you can. Yes, you can. Well, like oh my God, I can't. Oh. I shouldn't be having this much fun when people go at each other's neck or he doesn't have a neck. But it's just so much fun, man. It's nostalgic for me. You know, when, it, when, when the beef was happening, you know, back in 02, 03, you know, I was a young kid. You know, I didn't know. I was just here for it. They're just trading disses back and forth. But yeah, wasn't he caught in a hotel? And he said, you're in a room with two guys, only one bed. Only one bed, two guys, and the Red Roof Inn. What is that all about, Ben? Guess then I regret to win for him. You hate to spoil a day. But this doesn't bring me no joy to say. Guess that coil of rape beats in the toilet, eh? God. God. Oh. Isn't that his daughter? Oh, man. Now he brought up his daughter. He flipped it. But yeah, wasn't she asked on the Math Hoffa podcast? You know, first she did a tweet like supporting M for being inducted in the Hall of Fame, right? And um, then she was on the Math Hoffa podcast. And she was asked about the beef, and she said, "You know, it's none of my business. I, you know, I, I was I was a kid back then." And she was asked like how she would handle an M feature. How how would she approach her dad about this? <laughs> Emma's saying it's not gonna happen. The flows collateral exposed. Got pointed like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Head and bullet holes. Yeah. Have you full of those? Oh, pointy like mine and Sandra Bullock's nose. Pointy. Blonde, blonde bleach. How did it, how did he say it again? Man, I can't say. I can't do it. I'm just a guy with a camera and wife. You catch a stray like animal control. I plan a funeral. <laughs> Benzino is catching strays like animal control. Ooh. I'ma probably have to plan a funeral. Logical exams. Once again, it is off into the damn padded room. I go right toward the site. Lum at a psych ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking mind's more than I'm on my Pegasus. My yeah, his mind is, it is a little, it's a little uh, kooky. But hey, that's why we love him. He's saying it. We're thinking it. Ward because I strangled you with a mic cord because my fucking mind's more than I'm on my Pegasus, my high horse, and I'm fly. Yeah, bitch, I saw like a sty. You probably feel. Oh, that's a scheme. I'm on my high horse, fly like Pegasus. You know, Pegasus is, if you know, your Greek mythology. That's a horse with wings, right? And sore, like a sty, like a, a sore. Isn't that like something, you know, like a bump on your face or something? Feel like you're gonna die, cause you're in my morgue and you're tight up like a tight score. And that's why I'm back with Cole Bennett and I've been it, the level J Cole Bennett. It's aftermath that I ride oh. for tonight. Oh, he flipped it. He, he, whoa. And you're in my morgue? Yeah, Benzino. But what is he gonna do? I know they're gonna say M never went at a top tier rapper, which might be true, but which top tier rapper went after him? I mean, they always leave that part out of the conversation. Whatever. You could call me Stan. No problem. Because I am. It's fine. It's fine. Nothing anybody or any hater says is gonna change my mind. Probably feel like you're gonna die Cause you're in my morgue And you're tight up like a tight score And that's why I'm back with Cole Bennett And I've been it The level J Cole Bennett It's aftermath that I oh, That's nice That flip I'm back with Cole Bennett And I've been at The level Cole Bennett How does he think it is stuff? But that's, that's nice man I like I it I die. Mm, That's the loyalty there at the end you know, I'm going to be at Aftermath till I die. You know, it's ride with Aftermath till I die. That's loyalty. 
that's loyalty. And nowadays, you know, that's that's hard to find. You know, 50 and M, M and Dre. Love it. I'm here for it. Wow. Okay, I'm going to check out some more of this album, I think. Uh, if you have any more suggestions, I hope my English was sufficient enough uh, to understand my ramblings. And if you want me to revisit some some of M's stuff, I'm happy to, because I have a lot of things to say about them. Um, maybe have some, look for some obscure songs that I haven't listened to. It could be that there's some out there. I hope so. Uh, subscribe for more content, guys. Uh, I'm, I'm on a journey. I'm on a journey. And, and I'm here for it. I'm out. Peace.